Good evening alongside Teddy Atlas. I'm Joe Tessitore, and this is Friday Night Fights. And we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Remember, double up on the get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Bad intentions, his resume reads with a lot of knockout wins highlighted upon it. Is it the level of competition he's facing, or is he that good of a puncher? You know, that's the right question, Joe. It's a combination of both. He, you know, he hasn't exactly been in there with Godzilla, but he has power. He gets. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Bad Intentions is the first knockdown victim of the night in this fight. Get up, man. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Sanders is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Finish with the hook. us tonight, Teddy, a power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher? To take his power, you know, Use it's not ring. just power, it's where ring. you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy... Bad intentions is oh, no. almost out of it there. He was stunned. Teddy, he's been staggered and stunned, and now these flailing arm shots. Yeah, he's going to leave himself more wide open. Right now, he'd be better off not throwing, just defending. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Right hand downstairs. Sanders is left, working well that time. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? Kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now, he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. no, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Sanders is scored upon by a left hand. Boy, he was damaged, but... And bang, and away he goes. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes, because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. That has a sense of a flash knockdown there. You can see he's not too damaged. His opponent better be careful. He's still got a live guy opposite him. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. And believe me, the best indicated that he didn't really hurt him. His opponent's not coming after him. He knows that he's okay. He knows that that wasn't one of those big shots that really debilitates a guy. How about that left hand? Nice combination. Jab, uppercut to the head. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. And now he scores well with a straight right. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Sanders is showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. That's a forceful two-punch combo by bad intentions. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. That's right where he wants him. Wow! He goes. 
goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five. Bad intentions. He's coming off a round where he scored big. He scored the knockdown. I suppose right now he's got to think to himself, Teddy, how did I do that, and how can I do that again? He should think that to himself. That's what his corner's there for, to remind him. You know how you did it? Do it again. Jab, uppercut, both upstairs. Sanders' defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Hey! Good snapping that jab. On, That's what go. you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. That's a huge... What a big shot. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sanders able to survive that knockdown, but Teddy, is it only a matter of time at this point? It's up to what he does right now as soon as the referee lets him go. Does he grab, does he buy time, or does he get knocked out? Gets rid of that effort. Now he ties up there. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Good flush shot upstairs. Sanders, a big, big shot he just scored with. From absolutely out of nowhere to one, now on top of two, the world, he three, just floored him four, with that punch. Five, Short one, maybe six inches. Seven, eight, nine. Sanders now getting back up off the canvas. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by bad intentions. Sanders' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want another one. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out as we start round number four. Bad attention is up two rounds to one. But keep in mind, they've already traded knockdowns. Yeah, and his opponent knows okay. that. He knows he can hurt him. And there's always hope. There's always incentive to get after him. Lands a big hook. boy. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward. So I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Good return fire that time. Big shot there. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Sanders is now seeing his own blood, and it's coming from his mouth. A well-placed left hand up top. A little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Solid. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? One, two, three, four, five.
We welcome you live to our night of pay-per-view action. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for our main... Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Take Bad Intentions is the kind of fighter up. who likes to finish the night with a bang. We've seen that throughout his career. The majority of his wins have been by knockout. Yeah, he goes right out there with one thing in mind. You know, even when he's thrown a jab, he's probing with that jab as a measuring stick, always looking to land that big power shot. Not much action as he just ties up. Good step back counterpunch there. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. That was really well done. Targeting the jab and then thundering home with the uppercut. That's a solid right hand by Bad Intentions. Watch the hook. Look at that. Perfectly executed combination. Morris is down. He's going to have to beat the count. One, two, three, four. So he was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after him. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is, as you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now... Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four. And just like that, it's over. Knockout in the first round. Well, we said that he starts with a lazy jab. The problem is the other guy had a good snappy right hand. Unable to beat the count, a first round knockout in the books. Now let's go up to the ring to make it official. Wow, the theater of the unexpected. Who would have ever expected that? Bad intentions is one single lightning bolt of a punch ends the... round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder quick assessment here as the action is underway bad intentions is fearless and with that attitude he's gone right in there and knocked out plenty of opponents and half of them to the body half to the head he's an equal opportunist oh uh, you see him with the left of the head there well targeted two punch combo by bad intentions right on the mark with the hook up top Bad Intentions has been stunned. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. Did you see that? And a big punch connects and floors him here in round one. And now what you expected. His opponent usually not a quick starter. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Morrison's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. An accurate left by bad intentions. Comes across with a hook up top. Bad intentions is doing well here with that two punch combination. Focus. What's the worst kind of situation you can get yourself into when you're fighting a guy who you know has superior hand speed? You start thinking too much, Joe. You start second-guessing yourself. You start being a little hesitant. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by bad intentions. Comes right back with some offense of his own. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times 
It's, hey, I'm gonna bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's gonna try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's gonna have to That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Something has to change here. He cannot have another round like the round he just had. Look at his face. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if it's a battle, if it's a battle in a real war, sometimes you gotta retreat. You have to know when to retreat. I think it's time right now you retreat a little bit, you know, you hold on, you blow this round. You don't worry about winning this round, but you get yourself together, get a little rest, and then you start making a plan of attack the next round. Oh, that's a good hook to the body. Morrison's making for a tough target there. Bad intentions is stunned, and he is hurt. There it is. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Three, four, five. Get up, get up. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's going to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. He just missed that shot up top. Crashes home with the uppercut. Solid hook upstairs. Bad intentions is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Well, some guys are just takers. And right now, that's the category he's falling into. Morrison's hurt. And yet another big shot comes in. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Morrison's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Tommy Morrison's... Oh! was able to get up and continue on last time. Two, now he goes down three, again. Four, five, six. That's it. The fight is over. Morrison's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Bad Intentions is able to come up with a shocker here. Out of nowhere, early on, a knockout.